Yo, YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to Kenny's TV. And in this video, we're going to be converting the Epson Workforce 7840 into a sublimation printer. And that's that big printer right there behind me. So I'm going to take you through the step by step process. So if I went too fast or you missed a step, don't be afraid to pause and rewind. So that way you can hook up your printer correctly. And then once I get the software set up, I'm going to go ahead and print out and actually heat press onto a blank t-shirt. So stick around for the final results on that. And also, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe, like, drop a comment or a question. I'll be willing to answer those. So pause in the video and we're gonna get right into it. So the Epson Workforce 7840 going to lift up the top tray that's what we're going to put the refillable cartridges in and we want to be using the original Epson ink cartridges to take off the chips so I'm started with magenta and since that's the first one I grabbed and you want to be using the same color cartridge so I'm taking the 802 magenta and you can see the same size. And this will work right here. So we're gonna take that chip off and place it on the refillable cartridge. Now on the empty cartridge, there's a small nipple right there. It needs to be shaving off so that way the chip can actually be placed right there using an exacto knife you can use a blade box blade and will work something sharp and you just want to shave the nipple off that's flushed and just keep in mind take your time it's not a rush you don't want to be cutting your fingers up And I'm just making sure that the plastic is flush as much as possible. And now I'm just going to go ahead and take the tip of the blade and try to loosen the chip. And just want to lift up lightly. I'm going to try to take it off with my fingers. Nice. Try it one more time. Alright, so if they stuck pretty good, just use the tip of your blade and just lift up. And there it is. And the exact way the chip was on the original cartridge, it's the same way you want to put it on the 802 refillable cartridge. And you just want to angle from the top. Because there's a groove at the top where you want to place a chip and there's two grooves that's going to hold the chip on the sides, the left and the right. Also on these 802s, you can remove that top part. If this is easier for you to work with, it's an option. If not, you can still have it attached and push in the chip. And they're not going to snap in, so just take your time with this. So you're going to use a little bit of force and the grooves on the sides of that is going to hold the chip, especially on the left and the right side is, is where you're going to be trying to push it in. And 
just take your time and then once you get it on if you took off the top plastic part just put it back on the cartridge and just a reminder if you're changing the chips make sure you're using the same colors I'm just going to fast forward this right here get all the chips swapped and we're going to be going on to the next step so it's looking good now if you buy the conversion kit the ink the cartridges should come with a syringe and it got the attachment to the top also we're going to be removing this clear rubber seal and the front end where the chip is at on the refillable cartridge and that's where we're going to be filling up the ink at I'm going to be starting with black again this is another option if you want to wear gloves if you have gloves you can wear them uh, I just don't wear gloves And also if you have a microfiber towel, that's good to have close by. So that way, if you do happen to make a mess on the cartridge, it's going to be an easy wipe. And the goal right now is to fill up the ink more than halfway in the cartridge. You don't want to fill it all the way up to the top. You at least want to get three fourths of it filled up. And I'll explain in a few after I put some more ink in here. All right. So we got it a little bit more than half right there. I'm just going to push the rest of the ink back into the bottle if there's any leftovers. Remove the top portion and then I'm just going to use the same syringe. Plug it into the hole and just pull up. So that way what it does is we're priming the cartridge. Taking all the air out. So put back the attachment on and continue filling up all the way to the top. And you're going to do this on each color cartridge, the priming part. And I just went ahead and did a second prime. This is optional as well. As you can see, I just pull up and let it drop. And just give it a little push at the end. And this is where the microfiber towel will come in handy. I just want to make sure it's filled up all the way before. There it is. Use the same syringe. Just pull the little axis part. This is not going to be perfect for everybody. So it is just going to get messy. Got that cleaned up. And what I'm gonna do is take the back rubber seal right here, this rubber plug, and just plug it in where we was filling it up at in the front. And if you ever gotta refill it, that's where you're gonna take off the nipple. And just go ahead and fast forward. Got all the ink, did all the priming. 
Okay, making sure all the chips are secured. And that's what it should look like. Now the printer is on. And the printer is calling for the ink. So be careful placing these in. And it's pretty self-explanatory. Just line up the colors. The black, the cyan, magenta, then the yellow. And you can see they're fitting in just like the original ink cartridges. Now do keep in mind if you have to take them out for whatever reason to refill them, pull straight up and hold that tab. So let's go ahead and shut it down and it's gonna give you automatic printout. Congratulations. You accessibly installed your Espen printer. So went ahead and print out doing a quick heat press. Looks like the results is here. There it is. Give it another press. And this is the final results, y'all. Nice. Okay. So the printer has been converted. The results, I like them. I'm impressed. I gave it two thumbs up. Um, the video was edited through the time. It actually took me about 40 to 45 minutes overall. And some people are going to get it done faster, a little bit faster. And some it might take a little bit more time. So it all depends on your speed and also distractions. And the edited part on the software, all you got to do is go to epson.com backslash support. And then you can scroll down and click on support and then type in WF 7840. And it's going to get the printer, the download, the recommended one with the drivers and everything. And I skipped that part because, you know, some people, they want the emails and the support. And then some people don't want that kind of stuff. So, but I am going to come with a video to actually set up the software. You know, everybody's different. Everybody got their own style and taste. But thanks for sticking around. Catch you on the next video. And we'll get right into it. Peace.